Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's early. It's freezing. I'm in Medford, and I can't wait to get out of here. Sorry. Um, I love my grandbabies, and I'm hugging them up a little more. But before I bail, but I need to get some warmth. I need to go back south for a minute. Newport's gonna have to wait. It's just too cold up here. My, I got this space heater that my father loaned me. Took a dump on me. It was like all smoking, so that's not working. Anyway, <clears throat> that was fun. Ooh, I was gonna mention one thing. There's an adorable young lady called Maddie Taylor. In case you're interested, she does travel around in her little vehicle and her little, yeah, doing her thing. And she's adorable. I think I might have mentioned earlier about people traveling around and, you know, making light of everything, which is adorable. And she is adorable. And I keep saying that word. <laughs> but anyways, with her little dog or cat. Or little dog. I don't know. Always have a dog or cat. But, um, yeah, pick her up. She's got a lot of viewers, like I said. She's adorable. So, you know, I mentioned her first name last in one of my videos. I, I figured I'd mention her last name, so give her props. So check it out. There's a lot of people out there traveling around doing videos like mine, and I try to not focus so much on the BLM, the traveling. You know, I'll mention tips and I'll and I'll show where I'm at, and I'll mention it's BLM or whatever. I'm just boondocking, or whatnot. But. <clears throat> This video is going to maybe be about two things. I'm going to start off with just talking about energy. Talking about um, cycles that you keep yourself in that keep your energy low. Um, people you're around, the toxic behavior, smoking, cigarettes especially. I smoke marijuana, but that's just something. Yeah, I got to work around. I, I'd rather take tincture or... Pills, if I had to, if marijuana pills, but you know, smoking is bad for you. You don't want anything to have to inhale smoke. That's just. But anyway, <clears throat> but I'm still in the process. Plus, it's really cheap right now for me to do it this way. The tincture is expensive and whatnot. Anyway, so I just want to talk about how you can focus on keeping the alcohol to a minimum or whatever you take, because you know everybody has their little, you know their things that help them relax whether there's meditation which is you can't OD on that but like I use mine for my pain and you know it helps me to relax and stuff like that especially sleep but other people like when you drink too much you know, all the time and it just it's just I don't know I was young once and I partied hard so I understand that but I just I understand about energy a lot more than I do when I was younger I, I look back and I think about all the situations I was in and I was like the energy and I, I knew there was something off about it but I just I didn't react right to it right it was just because I didn't know what the fuck I was dealing with energy is important and your energy is amazing when you can protect it and you can you know keep it from being drained or you you your energy it's it's hard to explain I'm still learning but if you're around a bunch of other people and their energy's all off, it's it just screws your energy. It almost like traps you. I feel trapped in a bubble at this moment. It's really bizarre. But because the energies around you are so hostile and toxic, and you're trying to, you know, just to see and you. And I don't. I'm one. I need to leave. But at the same time, my grandbabies. I'm trying to. You know what I mean? So it's all, there's the dynamics of other human beings and my grandbabies. And <clears throat> I talked about this before. Excuse me. That all, even children are empaths, and, and they can become vampires, psych, uh, drain your energy. But it's usually in an innocent, um, curious way. They just they want attention. Like if, if a child is not getting is neglected, if a child's neglected, and you show up and you give them attention, and they just like they latch on to you, and you wow, you can see really see that this person really enjoy you know the contact and the need and the, and then after a while, you're like, okay, I got to take a break because the energy is so draining. But it's not the child doesn't understand what they're doing. They just want, they just love the attention from somebody finally, you know, which is sad because children should always be getting solid attention. You know, like I said, when my son was little, he was, man, that kid was pampered, right? Tucked in at night, read a book. Every morning, he got up, made sure he brushed his teeth, he had clean clothes on. He was like, yeah, yeah, I was really strict on that, you know. He, Took a shower overnight or a bath or whatever you want to do, and then he'd have clean pajamas and the clean bed. Everything was cleaned. I, I mean, I'm, <clears throat> I had a neat freak for a stepmom who really drilled that into me. She was a, yeah, she was a drill sergeant. But, but in the end, I became a very neat. I mean, not so much right now. I'm just in the middle. Of, you know, I mean, it's important to have your children have structure and context like that. 
in your environment. So you don't blame the children when they they become vampires energetically because they just really need that attempt. They need affirmation. And that, when it's not given regularly, it becomes toxic for everybody, even the child. And that's sad. You understand what I'm saying? I'm sure you do. So there's a term that I've, I've been thinking about, and it's, it, it, it's a visual, but it's like sand. It's like um, quicksand. It's like energetic quicksand. And that's what it feels like when you're around people that are that are not vibrating in the same level as you. When you're around people that are upbeat and happy and look at it positive and are just like, they're just fun to be around. They're just nice. They're polite. They're just, yeah, it's hard to explain. Like me, yeah? When you're around other people like that, it, it, it's, it, it's effortless, right? You're just having fun. It's good time. The, the vibrations are, the energies... You don't drain one another. It's just like you're both glowing so high. It's like, bang, bang. You're bouncing off each other's energy because they're so bright. And there's no... When you're full of energy and you're in your, in your power, <clears throat> you don't need to drain anybody. It's like... It's it's an impossibility. You don't need it. It's like literally a, a non-issue. So when you meet somebody else who's in their power, there is no draining of anybody's energy. It's just like you see their... You see and respect their power and energy and their and their love and their... And their happiness and I'm rambling but yeah energetic quicksand and it's going to oh, it's really awesome so headed back to Cali to Cali oh I think so it's cold anyway <clears throat> I'm rambling so try to stay out of that energetic quicksand avoid being around toxic people if you can if you can try to impart some kind of knowledge about energies and what they're doing and maybe they can change or you can just kick rocks and move on like I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna love love up my grandbabies for another minute too and then kick rocks they're awesome but yeah I can't stay it's too fucking cold I'm just this is miserable for me yeah if you're out if you're outdoors mm -mm, winter time and that's why I was in the desert I was very happy in the desert so anyway <clears throat> might be heading back I don't know it gets hot in the summer, baby. You never know. It might be April. It might be like 100 degrees. So we'll see. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is so crazy about you. So watch that energetic quicksand, okay? And I'm going to do another video about something. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be right after this one. Dun, dun, dun. Stay forward. Be forward. To be continued. Okay, I'm, I love you. Bye.